Jeff Howard here at kiteboarding.com. And I gotta tell you, a lot of people have been calling and asking questions and trying to understand about single strut kites. Now the popularity of them are definitely getting bigger. Almost every single brand has got one out there. <clears throat> and I have so many people go, why? Why do you want a single strut? What is the difference? What are the advantages? Well, one of the main things and the advantage of a single strut is their lighter weight. When you get into kites that have less struts when you, uh, and it makes the kite lighter overall, that kite will hold itself in the air when you get into those light wind conditions. For instance, when you're out foiling, in most cases, if anybody is on a 12 meter twin tipping, I'm on a six meter uh, single strut out there foiling and even smaller. So that is the biggest advantage is getting a kite that'll maintain itself in the air in a lighter wind conditions. And that is normally the big popularity of foiling. Now I love them. When I get into the single strut kites and use them for all the foiling, I use a four. Some guys are out there when it's really honking and they're on the threes. There are really small ones, but there's a huge advantage to that because they move real quick, real fast, and they'll maintain themselves in the air in that type of wind and that's all you need for foiling so it is really cool if you get into foiling i will guarantee you you will move into the single struts and again that's just because the kite will maintain itself in the air i can actually get out and start foiling on a six meter at about 13 miles an hour so 12 to 13 on 20 meter lines i'm on a six meter and it is fantastic anything lower than that I pull out a foil kite for the really super light winds. But that six meter is like the money size kite. We got some of the most popular ones here behind us. Uh, we've got the Elevate from OS. We've done all the testing on these. So I will tell you, they're all great kites. They have a little bit of different flying characteristics. Some of them may have a little bit more bar pressure, a little less bar pressure. Some of them will stall a little faster than others. And a lot of people say that. Why would you want a single strut kite to stall? Why would you want a kite to stall? Well, what you'll see out there is a lot of guys doing spins. It's called stall spins. So when you come into a wave, if you have your bar set up to do so, the kite, as soon as you pull the bar down, it'll back stall real quick, sit in the window, and you turn the bar, and the kite just pivots and basically just kites downwind. It's almost, there's no power, which is really cool. And you can only get so many before it starts to drop, and then you push back out. Some kites like that and some kites don't. And that's one thing I really like to do. I set my system up that way. But you come in, you got the Slingshot Ghost. We got the, the One Strut from Elevate, which is a fantastic kite. Alpha, the Ozone Alpha came out this last couple of years and it is definitely one of the big ones too that we sell a lot of. It has no pulleys on the bridle, real simple, like the Ghost, like the Slingshot Ghost. There are no sliders, no pulleys. It makes it a little bit lighter, but is that an advantage? Uh, you know, it's, it's up to you and how you like that bar pressure and the feel and how smooth you want that kite to go. Another one is the Nash Boxer. It's definitely one of our most popular ones we get into. But some people will say, well, what's the advantage? Why not just take all the struts off? There are definitely some advantages. When you get into a single strut kite, when you actually put a strut back onto a kite, some of the first ones that came out were like Air Rush, Nash had theirs many, many years ago with no struts. What happens is, is a kite, around the luff curve, when you get a strut in there, you can pull that kite beyond its flying point further. When there is no strut up there, and that most important luff curve of the kite, it, it lets that kite come over a little bit further, holding itself in the air. Once that cell luffs, the kite wants to back up instantly. So your power to depower on a no strut is a very small, tiny area. And that single strut up there keeps that most important luff curve shaping right at the top of the cell, allowing you more throw in the depower range. As well as relaunchability, I gotta tell you, having a single strut out there has saved me many times and saved a lot of other people. I can help them get the kite back in the air. The kite doesn't wanna just sink down and stick itself onto the water and get stuck there. So it definitely helps out. That's why they've gone from no struts and most of them have now gone back to a single strut, keeping it simple, keeping it light as possible, but giving that huge range. As well as I've had guys come in and go, man, my no strut kite, if I go to self land that kite and it gets down on its nose, if you don't keep something on the nose, it'll sit there and just keep lifting itself and it's basically launched and taken off without them wanting it to do so. So there's a lot of little tiny advantages to give that to you, but I tell you, the single struts work in so many different range. I love getting out there on one as well as the surfing, uh, surf riding. I got out on the Ghost, really enjoyed it. It had a little bit more 
bar pressure to it um, and it has a low end grunt and it doesn't like to stall. So when I'm in there in the surf and I'll jump or I'll do a hard turn and bring the kite around, it'll definitely give me that low end grunt and pull me out of the wave when I want it, which was really cool. And it naturally, because the kites are so light, they want to back up. They already have that ability to do so because the wind just pushes them back. So as a kite is a little bit heavier, they can come over and just pivot over the top, but they have this natural float ability to drift with you, which is really cool. If you try to get a real aggressive with them in their larger sizes, single struts don't like to turn and be aggressive. So if you want to go out, let's say kite loop, I've twin tipped on them. I've used them all for every circumstance. And I will tell you, they don't like to be aggressively turned but they are still fun. We get out there and use them a lot in lessons with lighter people. These things rock for that. You get a single strut kite. It's not a small kite with three struts trying to stay in the air. It's a single strut and they want to just sit up in there in that lighter wind conditions for kids and light riders. So I will tell you, there are some fantastic advantages on single struts. If you're looking to try to find out which one you like the best or might fit you better or whatever it is, don't hesitate to give us a call. I'm happy to help out. It's a lot of fun to get the right kite to the right person and for the right purpose because it just makes foiling fantastic. I will always have my range, my four, my five, and my six. Those will be my inflatable single struts. And then when I get into the light wind foiling, I jump up to a foil kite. That's a personal liking, but we do have some guys out there that really still enjoy their 10s, 11s, and 12s in those single struts too because they will maintain themselves in light wind conditions and light wind riding. Anyway, if you have any questions at all about single struts, which ones may work for you, don't hesitate to give us a call here at kiteboarding.com where we put these things on the water so you get the information straight up. If it's not over yet, don't forget to please like, subscribe, and click on that notification bell below. It really helps us out. Thank you for watching.